Hello guys, I'm here with uh, another uh, video, this time with an example on uh, basic citation and also the uh, uh, force transmissibility and eventually amplitude of the force exerted by the base to the mass. So just a quick summary. Uh, so you guys remember that we have uh, a typical system here of mass, uh, spring and damper. Uh, subjected to the excitation coming from the base. Y of T is kind of like the input. Remember, Y usually is in the form of, uh, you know, the uh, uh, some amplitude Y, right? So Y of T is usually uh, Y sine omega BT, right? And Y is the amplitude of the uh, base, and omega B is the base uh, frequency. And you guys remember after going through the uh, discussions and some derivations, the, this ratio of x over y is known as the um, uh, displacement transmissibility or amplification, and that's equal to the... So there was, again, a pause every time I touch something here on this uh, iPad. So I don't know where, what I was talking about. But anyways, I was trying to say, um, uh, be careful, guys, with this uh, bracket there is uh, uh, this is raised to power one half so this is like under the radical okay this ratio of f sub t over ky is known as uh, force transmissibility remember it's in the non-dimensional form ky also has the uh, the dimension of force f sub t is called the the uh, the amplitude of the force exerted by the base to the mass and it's equal to this r squared times this bracket. And then it could be shown that actually that uh, if you put ky over here, so you have ky r squared, but y times this bracket actually becomes x. So you could actually write it in this form. Anyways, let's talk about the uh, our example here. So we have a machine weighing 2,000 Newton, right? So basically what we have here is a machine which is 2,000 Newton, so the weight of it is 2,000, right? So that's the weight. Okay, it says the floor deflects about 5 centimeters. So as a result of this weight, the floor will deflect like this. And this deflection delta is 5 centimeters or 0 0.05 meter, right? So why did they give you the deflection? Because in our equation somewhere we need k. So that actually will allow you to calculate k. So let me go ahead and find uh, k for you here. So knowing that f is equal to k times delta, therefore k becomes f divided by delta. So if you divide force by force, which is the weight, by delta, 2000 divided by uh, 0 0.05 k comes out to be uh, 40,000 newtons per meter and that's why we had to change the unit okay well let's continue let me actually show you what's given and then we'll go go ahead and try to calculate uh, what we're trying to calculate okay so it says uh, so we already found k so it says uh, the, the floor uh, deflects about five centimeters as a result of the uh, the weight of the machine, so we calculated K. It says the floor is somewhat flexible and moves harmonically. Harmonically means like sine wave or cosine wave. As a result of what? A nearby machine. So there is a nearby machine that causes the floor to vibrate harmonically. Harmonically sine or cosine. Near what frequency? Near resonance. So in other words, the uh, omega of the base, the, the vibration of the base is very close to what? A natural frequency of the system. What system? This machine with the stiffness of K and a damping ratio of what? Very small damping ratio, as if this is just uh, basically spring. The damping ratio of 0 0.01 is very small. Okay, what are we trying to find? So let's say what is given. Given that, actually I forgot to mention something here. Given that R is equal to 1, right? Uh, the amplitude, with what amplitude? This is amplitude of the base, the 0 0.02. So that's actually Y, 
0.2 uh, rather centimeter okay let me just erase this 0.2 centimeters here we go so what are we trying to find we are trying to find let's see steady state amplitude that is x right this x here right and amplitude of the force exerted by the base to the machine to the mass and that's f sub t so very simple problem basically everything is given the only thing you had to actually calculate here in terms of you know something that wasn't given was the k value which we did based on the deflection so let me move to the next page and we'll just we have to just basically use these two equations this one and this one right so we go to the next page and we say okay x over y is equal to what 1 plus 2 zeta is what 0 0.01 r is 1 uh, the whole thing is squared divided by 1 minus 1 is squared which actually becomes 0 is squared plus 2 again the same thing Z zeta frequency ratio 1 the whole thing is squared be careful guys then raised to power 1 half so this x over y if you do the calculation actually comes out to be 50 which means a lot of ma magnification so basically if your y remember y was given to be 0.2 centimeters you don't even have to change the unit here look basically x becomes 50 over uh, 50 times y which is that's a very large magnification 50 times 0.2 centimeter is equal to 10 centimeters guys 50 amplification is too much so basically if you remember if you plot x over y versus frequency ratio at r equal 1 which is our case we start at 1 i believe here and we reach for a very small zeta 0 0.01 you see this amplification right here is 50 that's called displacement transmissibility too much amplification imagine if this was a suspension system of the car you have to throw this car out the designer is going to be fired but this is a different example i'm just joking guys anyways uh, so now let's go ahead and calculate uh, the f sub t you guys remember that f sub t let's go back actually to the last page look f sub t was what k x r squared right k x r squared k is calculated see that's why we needed k k was 40,000 newtons now the x value that we have the 10 centimeter has to be converted to meter guys 0.1 meter times r frequency ratio is one remember if the frequency ratio wasn't one this force would be either larger or smaller depending on where we are all right f sub t comes out to be 4000 newtons so this is the amplitude of the force exerted by the force uh, by the base rather sorry to the machine okay um, so we will move on to the next topic guys which is rotating on balance and that should wrap up the uh, the discussions of harmonic uh, excitation basically so thank you for watching uh, and listening guys stay safe today is saturday i'm creating these videos because i have so many videos uh, i have to make for different courses between wentworth and northeastern and i've been really busy uh, creating these videos so thanks for watching and listening as always